Assalamu alaikum students how are you all i hope you all are good and fine and taking good care of yourself as you all know that we have started our part 4 of this unit computer devices and in our previous lecture we have discussed about mouse and how to use it now in today's lecture we are going to study about trackpad joystick scanner touch screen barcode reader digital camera and microphone so let's start with the trackpad now what is a trackpad my dear students this is a device that substitutes a mouse in laptops it means that the trackpad on a laptop does the same job as the mouse on a desktop pc you can also see this that this is the mouse of a laptop this is the mouse of a laptop it is also known as touchpad trackpads or touchpads controls the mouse pointer trackpads or touchpads control the mouse pointer remember the cursor it controls the cursor or you can say a mouse pointer just like a mouse trackpad is a mouse of the laptop and it is also known as touchpads this is a trackpad and it controls the mouse pointer joystick just like mouse and trackpad joystick is also a pointing device joystick is a pointing device just like a mouse and a trackpad it is used to move objects on the screen it has a spherical ball at the lower end that moves in a socket and this movement make things move on the screen remember we discussed about the ball present at the bottom of the mouse do you all remember which helps to move the cursor similarly a spherical ball is present in a joystick a spherical ball is present in a joystick to move the things on the screen it is used to play games joystick is used to play games we use joystick to play games scanner if you are asked to input letters and numbers on a paper into the computer you can do it very easily using the keyboard by using keyboard we can input the letters and numbers very easily into our computer right but if the data also has some pictures photographs or diagrams what do you do you cannot input them using a keyboard or a mouse my dear students we cannot input the data which has pictures photographs or diagrams using a keyboard or a mouse here the scanner comes to our help we can scan the pictures and other graphics with the help of scanner which are save as a file on the computer if lots of data on paper has to be input we can also scan it this saves the time of doing it manually using the keyboard using scanner can also save our time so we do not have to type all of it using the keyboard a scanner help us to input the data from paper directly into a computer what is the job of scanner it help us to input the data from paper from the piece of paper to directly into a computer 
and it saves valuable time and manpower now what is a touch screen it is a special computer screen that can sense the touch of a human finger or similar object it is a special computer screen that can sense the touch of a human finger or similar object the screen has sensing lines which can determine the location of touch this means that the touch screen can sense where the finger is going and the location of the touch the user can select options by touching the screen like you do in your smartphones when you touch anything on the phone it opens or it function so the touch screen has a sensing line which can determine the location of a touch it is commonly used in post offices ATMs railway stations and airports and now it is also commonly used in our homes also which is known as a smartphone smartphone also has touch screen now barcode reader i think you all must have seen this type of machine at any shop or any mall let's learn about this my dear students barcode is a series of line that barcodes contain coded information we see these on the things that are for sale in big shops in malls etc have you all see this a barcode reader reads the barcode and translates the information such as name and price of the thing or the article for quick billing items can be barcoded in other places such as libraries or luggage check-ins and flights digital camera digital camera takes pictures just as the ordinary camera however a digital camera or a digital photograph is transferable into a computer for further storage we can transfer the photograph in the computer for any purpose we want to do it can be viewed printed and edited from the computer just as other image the image can be viewed we can see that image any time we can print or we can edit that photograph from the computer just as any other image and other type of digital camera is the web camera web camera is the type of digital camera web camera is a type of digital camera web camera transmits image over the internet as we live chat with someone you can video call you can say video call or uh, skype or anything it transmits image over the internet as we live chat with someone web camera are also used for security purposes as they record our movements also web cameras are used in the places such as airports or the traffic etc you must have this, seen this camera or this type of cameras in your school now microphone microphone or mics as they are commonly called give voice inputs to the computer microphones or mics we uh, normally say microphones as mics 
What is the function of microphone? They give voice inputs to the computer. They input the voice of the user to the computer. The voice input can be recorded and stored or transmitted. The voice input can be then recorded and stored in the computer. Now this is your homework. What you have to do is listen to me very carefully i am doing number 1 for you and the rest of you uh, and the rest of is your homework and as you are all my very good students you have to do your homework by your own firstly mention the date on which you are doing your homework your homework is that do exercise e from page number 23 in your book now what you have to do is you have to mention the date on which you are doing your homework then HW and do your work in a very neat and proper manner. So here is a diagram of keyboard and we have to follow the instructions given below. Let me read the question for you. The homework is on page number 23. It is on page number 23 and the question is See the following diagram of the keyboard and follow the instructions given below. So now we have to follow the instructions. Here is the question and number 1 is find out the number 2 and color it red. We have to find out the number 2 on this keyboard and then we have to color it red. Can you please help me to find the number 2? Where it is? Yes, here it is. We find it. Now, color it red. Okay, our next is make a circle around the letter P. Now, this is your homework. I am not going to help you. Make a circle around the letter P. Where is the letter P? Hurry up, make a circle on it. Then, fill yellow color in the letter O. You have to fill yellow color in the letter O. Where is letter O? Now, number 4 is color the space bar green. Where is the space bar? Can you see it? Where is the space bar? Hurry up now. Color it with the help of green color. You have to use green color to color the space bar. Very good. Now, number 5. Put a tick mark on enter key. Where is the enter key? Where is the enter key? Have you all find it? Now, put a tick mark on it. That's like my good students. Now, the last is color the first letter of your name. What is the first letter of your name? What is the first letter of your name? Now hurry up, color it with any color you like or you can also color it with your favorite color. And my dear students, if you have any problem doing this homework, you can also take help from lecture number 2. So this is it for today's class. I hope you all are taking the classes properly, taking good care of yourself. So this is it. Take care of yourselves, students. Allah Hafiz.